How many Christmas games do you think are really out there? There's not that many, at least outside of the really small mobile-like games that are like, oh hey, here's a clicker for Santa. But I've got one for you on this Christmas day of 2021. It's been a while since we covered a visual novel, and we're doing something out of the quote-unquote Sakura series, a very long list of lewd fan service visual novels that have been prevalent on PC as well as the Nintendo Switch. The series going in the more Christmas direction, here is my review of Sakura Santa for the Nintendo Switch. In this game, you play as a protagonist who's moved away from his family to go to college, but you're very lonely during Christmas because you don't know anybody in the area. In your depression and loneliness, you've long and wish to just have a friend to spend Christmas with. In the same day as this wish, you end up running into a fox spirit at a nearby shrine. Find a middle school friend you haven't seen in years in a strange bunny costume, advertising a local cafe, and run into a very scantily clad girl that convinces you that she is actually Santa Claus. You have to choose who do you spend time with. Overall, I would call this story okay. There are a lot of perverse bits with the main character being pretty obsessed with cleavage no matter which story you're going through. And that is especially prevalent when all of the CG and artwork shows up for any of the three routes. But that's not to say there aren't any good bits. Each girl's arc has some nice story scenes and development, making it a bit different from the others, so it isn't just, oh hey, let's just do this same thing, but with the orange-haired fox girl instead of the blue-haired childhood friend. But it is worth noting that the Christmassy theme only really gets focused on in Santa's story arc. And while good conflicts happen in each girl's story arc, you really aren't given enough time for it to really flesh out by the time it's resolved. When it comes to gameplay, this is a visual novel with some very light dialogue choices. As you play through the game, you're going to be navigating story scenes and making choices in dialogue depending on who you want to visit on each day. Before really diving in, let's talk about H content or lack thereof. Many games of the Sakura series are H games over on PC with appropriate 18 plus patches. Sakura Santa is a bit of an outlier here because there was never an H version developed. So if you're wondering if this is an H game that's been censored, not really. Which is a bit weird considering how the other games of the series are over on PC. Now getting to main progression, we have normal VN features like auto advance, skipping, saving and loading your progress, lots of save slots, though it is a bit weird that there's no plot log that you can pull up to see any text stuff you might have skipped over. But pretty simple and typical VN 101 stuff, though some of it might be a little too simple. That's where the dialogue choices come in. You've got about three or four choices throughout the game, but they don't really affect anything outside of who you go and visit. The game basically sets up the intro of, hey, you're a lonely guy in this town, you meet these three girls, and who do you want to spend time with? You don't have right or wrong choices in the dialogue for going for good or bad endings for the girls. You do have to do a certain number of events with a single girl to get her ending, but there's really nothing outside of that. You literally can't get a bad ending if you choose the same girl three times in a row. Having something easy like this is nice, but it also feels a little too simple. Speaking of that simplicity, let's talk about how little amount of time you're actually going to be spending here. This is pretty typical of the series, but Sakura Santa is really short. You're going to have about an hour to an hour and a half of the intro and an hour for each of the girls' arcs. A single track through the entire story for one ending will likely take you no more than two hours, maybe a little less. And that gives you three to four hours of content, but only if you want to see literally every ending the game has to offer. It's bite-sized, but it's this amount of length that also caused that problem I mentioned earlier with the conflicts in the story not having enough time to develop. But getting past that, let's dive into presentation, which is nicely done. You don't have the moving character models that you have in games like Neptunia or Nekopara, but they have a lot of detail, especially when the special artwork and CGs show up. The only real problem with presentation is the fact that the text in the game is incredibly small. I found it really hard to read even when I had the game up on a TV right in front of me. I was able to get through it, but it was pretty straining, especially in handheld mode. 
I've got no issues with performance, so let's go right into battery life. Sakura Santa gives the original model a range of 4 hours and 48 up to 5 hours and 21. It gives the Nintendo Switch Lite a range of 5 hours and 8 up to 5 hours and 50. It gives the Red Box for V2 2019 model a range of 9 hours and 6 up to 10 hours and 30. And the OLED gets a range of 9 hours and 13 up to 11 hours and 4. Now in conclusion, Sakura Santa is a cute little lewd VN for dating sim fans to play this Christmas season. Now on the downside, the text size is incredibly tiny, a lot of the story is paced way too fast for what it tries to do, and the dialogue choices really don't feel like they have much weight to them. But if you're a fan of the genre and want something to get you into the Christmas spirit, it's a neat little game. Reviews to go rates Sakura Santa for the Nintendo Switch a 6 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.